Welcome, one and all. Every oh, I am God. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, welcome, everybody, to... <clears throat> Hello? What, what's this? Who's calling me? I'm on a song call. Episode... Tres. Episode Tres Leche Cake. We are three years old today, baby. We kind of know how to walk, I guess. Is that what babies do? They know how to walk at the age of three? Is that is that the thing? Is that what's going on? I think. I think they, I mean, my daughter knew how to walk at the age of three. So I'm guessing all babies know how to walk at the age of three unless they have something uh, kooky going on, you know? So welcome back, everybody. It's time to wake up. It is Monday morning. Monday, 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 Monday. It's just work. It's not a monster truck rally or anything. I wish. I, I kind of want to go to a monster truck rally. I th I've never been to one. Even though I'm right today, I look like I, I'm supposed to be in a monster truck rally. I got my cutoff shirt on. I got my pants on. Um, I, I just I just wanted to feel comfortable today. Um, and I, I wanted a hat because... Uh, I'm getting kind of self-conscious about my receding hairline. So that's what I wanted to do today. It's time to wake up. Uh, if you are just waking up and going to work, put me on. We, I will entertain you for the time that you have to spend in your car or your walk or your bike ride or whatever. If you are at work, here I am entertaining you there. If you are getting off of work, same deal. And if you are a night owl like me, put me on and we'll howl at the moon. We can fuck the moon together. So there's that. There is something really fucking cool on the podcast today. And we'll get into that soon. But you all know me. My name is Almighty Psy. Follow me on Instagram, Almighty underscore S dot I dot G dot H. Almighty underscore S dot I dot G dot H. I did a, I did a rapper versus rapper this week and one person, one person fucking, uh, voted. How am I supposed, how am I supposed to? To do the votes like that. How am I supposed to, to see what people believe people want to, to see? Alright, cool. You maybe you don't know the rapper that I posted up. Look him up. That's that's the whole point of this. That's the whole point of this whole rapper versus rapper. So you can know. You you can listen to him, you can decide. You know what I'm saying? That you can decide. Look him up. You don't know who Tara Reed is? Look his ass up. I'm not gonna juke you on some bad music. You'll 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 bop for sure. Now maybe the music is a little bit different than what you are accustomed to, but it's n nonetheless, nonetheless. So you know, get get on Instagram, go follow me, and go fucking vote. I know your ass is on fucking uh, social media all the time anyway, right? While you're at it. Go to fucking TikTok and follow me on TikTok at U-M underscore Mosh Talk. U-M underscore M-O-S-H-T-O-K. And follow me on that. 
I post a lot of the, the, the podcasts and little snippets that are kind of funny here and there and blah, blah, blah. And I get views on there. I don't get likes. I don't get follows. Shit, no. Shit, no. So, uh, maybe Mondays are, are chill for you. Maybe you have a chill Monday. Cool. Um, let's get some projects done. Let's get some album covers released. Let's get some pictures done. Let's get some photography done for your your new album that you're about to post or finish the album that you are working on or finish the single that you're working on or finish uh, the woodworking project that you have in your garage or your car. Finish that car project that you have that needs to get done. Work on something. Get your ass up for the week and do something productive so that your week doesn't feel like shit. Last week, I feel like every, almost every week for me, I just feel very unmotivated. I feel very forced to do things. And you know, we all need to chill and that's understandable. But at the same time, we can't, we can't just slump it up. We can't just feel, we can't be sleeping on our couch every single day watching uh, reruns on Netflix and chill, you know, we can't be doing that. That's not productive. You're not being a productive human being. Let's get your ass up. Let's do something good with your hobbies, your passions. Let's go to fucking work and get that guap, get that fucking money. Maybe you're looking for a job. Let's go to every single place in your town and ask if they're hiring right now. It's kind of tough. Right now, it's kind of a hard time, but what is, what is the, what's the harm in just trying? What's the harm in just trying? I shit you not. I'm not shitting you. I got laid off at Subway. I got laid off at Subway uh, one time, and I needed another job. I had, a, I had the night job that I have now, but I needed an extra job during the day, and I literally walked to two places that I thought that they might have a job opening for me. Now, were they big openings? Were they big jobs? No, definitely not. I cleaned floors at a grocery store for two hours a day, and I painted um, I painted uh, propane tanks for, for farmers. Or, or, or uh, what are they called? The propane, the giant cylinder propane tanks for, for farmers. I painted the... Uh, logo that they got them from i repainted them on there that's what i did almost every day it wasn't it wasn't a hard job but i got paid for it and it was a good job to where i was in a very bad place in my life very depressed very mad very angry at the world and that got me enough time to worry about that other than my life It gave me a habit to go to work. It gave me a schedule to go to work. And that's what I did. I used those two jobs to get me out of my house almost every day. I worked almost every day on those jobs as well. But... I that that those are the jobs that got me out of my house to do some shit. So let's fucking do that. Let's go to some. Let's go to fucking uh, some stores. Let's go find some odd fucking jobs, and we'll see you from there. I've worked at some really odd fucking jobs. A green card place. I was a janitor. Um, like I said, I cleaned floors at a grocery store. I paint painted uh, propane tanks. I've done some crazy fucking jobs and there are jobs out there for you specifically. You don't have to work at a fucking meat packing plant. You don't have to work at a manufacturing company. Let's just get some, let's get a couple hundred dollars and call it good every week. Huh? We don't have to overextend our life. Fuck that. I know how that fucking feels, right? But enough of that. Let's get on to a pressing topic. Um, so last week I was like, I'm going to vote. I'm going to put a uh, rapper versus rapper. I'm going to put uh, Drake versus Kanye West before Drake's album dropped. And then Kanye won, obviously. Right. I, and then I did uh, the album and Kanye won, obviously. Now 
right now, I posted them again for that specific reason, and nobody voted except for that one person. Which I would just say 100%, eh, but that's not fair for y'all. And that's not fair for me either. Even though I appreciate the person that did it. And so, um, the reason I do that is because I wanted people to react to Kanye's album and Kanye as a rapper over Drake. And then I wanted both of their albums to come out. And I wanted to, I wanted people to vote how they thought about Drake's rapping and his album over Kanye's. And so I wanted to see what people thought. Um, I got some feedback over the week about why people or why people think the way that they do about Tyler or, or not Tyler, uh, Kanye or uh, Drake or whatever. Sorry, I was talking, I was listening to that new song. Uh, with Tyler Crater, we'll we'll get into it. But, um, so I, I I messaged a few people. I said, you know, give me your input on what why you think this person is over this person, yada yada yada. And a guy by the name it's Tyler Rag, or it's Tyler A G, I T S T Y A T Y L E R A G. I-T-S-T-Y-L-E-R-A-G. That's his Instagram. And this is what he said about Kanye's album. Kanye puts more soul and passion into his music, which is true. He goes the extra mile to make sure all the music comes out perfect. Questionable. But I, I'm i on his side about that. If you look at the release of Donda, it looks chaotic at surface value, but in depth... He put so much into that album, and that's why it came out the way out way later than expected. True, but I also want to say I think it was a hype uh, scheme. I feel like he was trying to hype his album up a little bit more. I feel like he was using what he had um, value, like money wise and his time. I feel like he was using that to hype up his album, but. Okay, again, true. Um, he didn't release it until he thought it was up to his standards. Okay, I can I can kind of see that. I mean, if it's your project, you know when it's done. Doesn't matter how you go about it, so I guess that's true. He puts out music for himself that the fans enjoy. And I will say that is also very true. That's a true one. Kanye has put out a lot of music that is for him and the fans love. I mean, the first song for Donda is his mom's heartbeat before she passed away. That's definitely for him, but it makes a masterpiece for the fans. And I didn't know that I needed to hear that. It's one of those things where it's like, you didn't need Donda, or you didn't, no, nobody wanted Donda, don't, everyone needed Donda, you know, and that's how that album went. Nobody was expecting Donda, nobody wanted Donda, everybody needed Donda, you know, and that goes with every... Artists that go, I'm not even talking just about Kanye himself. I'm talking about every artist that uh, puts their heart and soul into their music, into what they are trying to do. That goes for rock albums. Um, let's talk about Silent Planet for a second. You know who Silent Planet is? Look up the band Silent Planet. It's one of my favorite albums from Silent Planet. It is S-I-L-E-N-T-P-L-A-N-E-T. And the, the album is called When the End Began. And holy fuck. Does the beginning song for that album create the whole aspect 
of the music in this album, right? It is an amazing, it is an amazing album. It's, it's, uh, I think it's one of their last albums. I don't know how old this album is. Let me, let me look and see how old this album is. Two years old. It's a two year old album, but it's still fucking bops. Two years too late, whatever. I listened to it during, uh, COVID during, uh, all of this stuff. And let me tell you, it, it really tugged at my heartstrings because they talk about some crazy shit. I love, and, and then I started becoming a fan of, a uh, fan of Silent Planet. If you're not into the metal scene, if you're not into the rock scene, cool, whatever, but just take them, give them a listen. Why not? Like one song or so. That's what we're all about is taking a listen to, to a whole bunch of stuff. Artists like this, artists like Kanye, artists like Tyler, the creator, artists like Silent Planet, um, they put their heart and soul into these uh, albums that they throw and they don't expect us to listen. They just know that we are because we are fans, right? I didn't grow up. I'm, let me pause for a second because, yes, I grew up with Drake because Drake was there. He was a part of me growing up because everybody loved him. Now, did I fuck with Drake? No, I didn't fuck with Drake necessarily. There are some bops that he does that I enjoy. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm 100% a fan when I know that I'm not, right? But I came into listening to his album, unbiased, wanting to say, you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the, doubt, benefit of the doubt. I'm going to see what he's got. I'm going to listen to it. The, all the hype that was on that fucking album, right? I'm going to listen to it with an open ear. And I'm going to try my best to understand what everybody is listening to. Did not happen. I did not hear anything that I have not heard before from Drake. And you heard it from Leto. Leto said it the, the best. Everybody was expecting rap Drake. Everybody was expecting the hard, the hard hitting Drake and it didn't happen. Yeah, I get it. Because also Matt Miller... Uh, did the the album um, Divine Feminine and nobody and it, there was there was a tidal wave of like what's going on ah what's that <clears throat> everybody has their likes and dislikes right did I necessarily like Divine Feminine no I did not but because and Lethal's right everybody was looking for rapping Drake so I was looking for rap Mac. I was looking for the back in the day Mac Miller. So I get where he's coming from. But at this moment, we're talking about an iconic album from Kanye West, Donda, and Certified Lover Boy by Drake. And none of them, these two albums, do not go together. They, they will not collide ever. And I hate that people are making these albums collide because there is a significant amount of uh, a significant amount of value difference to these two albums. And I'm sorry to let everybody know, but it's true. You could tell the difference between Con uh, Kanye's music in Donda and Drake's music in Certified Lover Boy. And you could tell, you can, you can feel it. You can feel those feelings. Call me crazy. That's how it is. But onward, I think this is the last time we're going to talk about Drake and Kanye. Um, but like I said, on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, vote. It's not hard. I'm trying to get something going here for everybody, for the fans. Every time. Are you going to do that every time you get a cherry? Ruby the cherry. Ruby the cherry. All right. So I have a surprise for everybody. If you listen to this, if you listen to this specific episode, this is the first time you will he ever hear. This is the first time you will hear this song. I'm not shitting you. I am not shitting you. I have an unreleased song that I got the OK Go on to do it on this podcast. Braxton, how the fuck did you do that? That's insane. 
I have connections. I know people. I do my best. I work. When y'all fucking sleeping, when y'all sleeping, I work. I'm working. I'm working. Right? Now, not, not a very, not a very, you know, it's not a fucking boom artist, but I know him. Really great artist. He will blow up. I told him, this is what I told him. I told him. I'm not going to tell you everything that I told him, but I will tell you this. I said, this, this is a good song. This is a bop, bro. This is a vibe. Dare I say viral. That's what I said. And when he sent it to me, when he sent me this song, I was not expecting what I heard. And I listened to it seven or eight times. He said, he said, bro, I need you. To, I need your input. I need, I need to know what I need to know what you think. So I was going to go into it. Un, like I was going to go into the song. Um, what is that song? What is it called? A blind? Unbiased. Unbiased. I was going to go into the song blind and not know what it was going to sound like, but he wanted my input. So I had to give it to him. And let me tell you guys, you are going to be very surprised. Because this song, like I said, is unreleased. And this song is a certified banger. This is a certified bop. It's a great song. It's a it's a, it's amazing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start my coffee real quick because I decided, you know what? We, we 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 drink coffee on the podcast, we drink tea on the podcast. Let me show you what my rig is, let me show you what I got, and so I'm going to start my, my coffee right now, and uh, and we'll listen to the song. So give me one second, and you can watch me start my chem, my chem pot. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah. Nice. All right, so I got that going. Let's listen to this banger of a song. Y'all ready? Here we go. (laughs) Guys, I apologize. I didn't even tell you who the fuck it was. (laughs) <laughs> the rapper is Curtis Graham. C U R T I S G R A H A M. Curtis Graham. Okay. That's the rapper's name. Um Hold on. Sorry, uh, uh, Curtis Graham, and you can find him everywhere on social media at Tall Mike E N T. That is T A L L M I C E N T. Tall Mike Entertainment, I believe that's what that E N T stands for, right? Curtis Graham, Tall Mike E N T. So let's let's redo this song. I apologize. I got ahead of myself. I'm excited about this song. I'm sorry. So here we go. Boom. Right from the fucking door of this song. It has a little intro and the vocals start coming in. Very clean. You can understand what he is saying. The song the, the music in the background is not overpowering his voice, and his voice is not overpowering the song. It is very, very well produced. Very well produced. I don't know who produced this song, but it's very well produced. 
and we're gonna go back to the, the where the beat drops. <laughs> The chorus is not too long. I feel like it fits just perfectly. I feel like there's people that, that take away way too long for a for a chorus to, to end. I feel like this chorus in this song is uh, just perfect for this particular song. You already know what it is. It's R&B, but it's talking about some true shit. It's talking about some real shit. Right? So let's keep on listening. Watch me catching dunks like my name is Vince. Bars. More bars than a gate. See, I love those. I love those little. He's talking about some true. He's talking about some real shit. And then he throws a bar like that. And you're like, bro, that's some sick shit. Right, and it's just a small bar, but it goes so well with what he's trying to say, and it's just a little like, <laughs> I'm gonna throw this in here because you know, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you can catch the fade, yeah, catch a bliss. If they speaking on name, better plead the fit. I know your man pray name, but I got a chick. And she always on mine, cause she's stupid thick. I'm trying to put her on a plane, take her on a trip. Put her in a big old crib and give her all the drip. Swear I came a long way, now it's all the G. But I'm still a long way from where I wanna get. And I came a long way. Again, the verse for. The song, to go into the chorus the way it is, so smooth. Smooth as fuck, dude. Smooth as fuck. Like I said, and, and you can hear it in the song too. You can hear it in the song. The the, the beat in the background does an overpower the vocals and the, the, the bars. And the bars and the vocals do not overpower the beat in the background. And I came a long way, a long ass way. Ooh, had some long ass nights, a whole lot of fights, had some long ass days. I done came a long way, a long ass way. Got my eyes full of pain, see my homies in the grave, had to change my way. Life on the lowest shelf, doing this by myself. Took so much time just to dwell and still gain no prize for help. Just not my cup of tea. Won't ask y'all to cup for me. If anything, just come by. I can use the cup. I'm going to say something real quick. And this might be controversial. But there are certain rappers that go with certain rappers in songs. And, and that's just the way I believe. If you're well versed in your vocabulary, if you're well versed in your rhyme schemes, if you're well versed in your beats, and what you can do, there are, there is so much more that you can do than just what you know how to do. And I hope that makes, uh, sorry, I hope that makes sense. Just like a guitar player saying, oh, I only play country music. Same way. You get stuck in a rhyme scheme and that's all you know how to do. If you know how to flow with a particular song or you know how to flow with a particular beat or you know how to how to write your verses for songs because a lot of verses don't go with beats, and to a specific beat, a specific beat doesn't go with these verses. You need to be well versed in your rhyme schemes, in your bars, in your verses, and I feel like this is what I was trying to get at. I feel like this whole song is well versed. The people that did the the, per, the people that did this song, Curtis Graham, 
He knows how to fucking rhyme. He knows how to fucking do his rhyme schemes and his vocabulary into a specific song. And people see that shit, bro. People acknowledge that shit. You're not going to get fucking suicide boys on a beat like this. You're not going to do it. Let's go back to his, his where he started. I think this is uh, uh, Curtis Graham right here. Life on the lower shelf, doing this by myself. Took so much time just to dwell and still gain no cries for help. Just not my cup of tea, won't ask y'all to cup for me. If anything, just come by, I can use the company. Not where I want to be, still moving comfortably. Not that I'm rich, the fact I've always been good, just me. Some probably say it's strange, I say it keeps me sane. Sometimes we don't understand it, crazy how things can change. Then trying to make sense of it, might catch me out in public. Bro, did you hear that fucking beat just vanish? And he played it so well. He played it so well. That beat fucking vanished and he played it so well for his advantage. It keeps me sane. Sometimes we don't understand it. Crazy how things can change. Done trying to make sense of it. Might catch me out in public. Taking this drink while I think that hope I can see shit clearer. Blaming no one can be hard. Spending the more time in the mirror. We all so young and we living. Ain't got no time to be fearing. What tomorrow might bring. Hoping less stress on me. And tired of the test right now. I just want to do the right thing. If it's possible. Told me it's improbable. Ain't been in my shoes. Quit telling me what I got to do. I tell you right now, after this fucking song, you're going to go to work. You're going to be at home. You're going to be taking a shower. You're going to be eating dinner. And that song, that, that fucking chorus, I came a long way. It's going to be in your fucking ears all fucking day, bro. It's an addicting chorus. I fucking love it, dude. Been in my shoes, quit telling me what I got to do. A long ass way. That's a long ass way. And that's it. That was the song. Amazing. Curtis Graham. Rapper name. Curtis Graham. The song is called Long Way. L-O-N-G-W-A-Y. I can't see. I can't see all of the. Let me see. I can't see all of the name. There is a featuring. He he featured somebody. And I wish that. Let me see if I could do it this way. Maybe it'll show me then. Yeah. So the song is called Long Way. L-O-N-G-W-A-Y. Featuring Juvie Balanced Medium. J-U-V-E-E dash B-L-B-A-L-A-N-C-E-D. Juvie. Maybe it's just Juvie. I'm sorry, I'm reading this off of a fucking email. Like I said, this is a this is not a dropped song. This is an unreleased song. So we're I'm just going off. I believe maybe it's just Juvie featuring Juvie, J U V E E. So I'm sorry, boss, if I got that wrong. Uh, Curtis Graham, C U R T I S G R A H A M, long way, right? So I was like, bro. You got anything to say to these fucking uh, people that listen to the podcast? You got anything to say? And he's like, yeah, I got something to say. Curtis Graham said, move silently. This is for all y'all motherfuckers that are trying to rap and stuff. This is all for, these are all, this is all for the people that are trying to do some moves and whatever they're trying to do, passions, their art, whatever it is. Move silently. If it's good, eventually everyone will jump on the bus. If your shit is good, eventually everyone will jump on. And that's what Curtis said. Shout out to fucking Curtis, bro. This song, this song, I will 100% stand by my vote. 10 out of a motherfucking 10. This song was a 10 out of 10. Ah, 
Chef's fucking kiss. I don't listen to this type of music every, uh, all the time. And there are going to be some bops that fucking come uh, around. I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. I do that shit hard. It's, it's badass. This song right here is a cer certified bop. This song right here should be viral. This song will go viral, dog. I'm manifesting that shit for Curtis. I'm manifesting that shit for Juvie. That shit is amazing, bro. Amazing, bro. And oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't have put my coffee... Like on, uh, like on the the, the table, because it's like I can hear it. So maybe I should put it somewhere else. <laughs> Help me! Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out real quick. Hold on. I want to put some music uh, in the background, but I got to move this shit. My, uh, my coffee maker makes a lot of noise and I didn't know that it was going to do this. So my apologies. I'll be right back. Let's listen to the new, uh, Nipsey hustle X dive or Dave East X ace hood type beat by, you know, your one and only. Oh, Never mind, it's done. And there it goes. You see it? Did you see what happened? It sucked it right back into the thing. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe I should, maybe, uh, eh, that's fine. I got this new, like, chem set to make coffee. This shit's fucking fire. And, 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 and you use fire for it. But the thing is, is you boil the water, it goes into this thing, right? And that's where you put your coffee. So, whenever it boils, it go the, the hot water goes into that, that part of the, the, the thing, and it makes the coffee. Once I already, I already got cream, I already got creamer and stuff right here, in there. Thank you though. So once uh, once uh, the coffee gets uh, done, the thing pops up, and if and it and it and it goes back in, and the coffee gets sucked back into the other container, and now I have this little little handle, and I will open, and. There you go. Coffee. Right out of the spout. What is this? Is this science? Science. Science. Anyway. Uh, 9 millimeter Beats just dropped a, a song. Nipsey Hustle. With Dave East with Ace Hood type B interlude. And I think we should, I think we should listen to it. If y'all are down, just for, just for a little second. Let's take a listen. Check his ass out. 
I post our websites. I post our websites on in the description. I use. I sometimes do. Um, um, I sometimes do uh, ads. Sometimes every once in a while I'll do ads. Um, but today there's a there's a lot. I'm still tripping about that fucking. I'm still tripping about the uh, about that song that Curtis Graham did. Holy shit! Shout out to Curtis Graham for real. Anyway. Uh, I said I was going to talk a little bit about uh, about Tyler the Creator, which is correct. Tyler the Creator came out with a song with um, came out with a new song with uh, Max O'Cream. Well, maybe Max O'Cream made a song with Tyler the Creator. There's a difference. There's a difference, and I hate that people say, "Oh, Tyler the Creator made a song with this guy named Max O'Cream." Blah blah blah. No, Max O'Cream's name is on first. M A X O. K R E A M with Tyler, the creator, big persona. So I'm going to say Max O'Cream made the song with Tyler, the creator. Just because I haven't heard Max O'Cream before doesn't mean that he's not big somewhere else. Sorry, not sorry. But the song goes fucking hard. The song is a bot. Tyler, Tyler comes out with, uh, with his, uh, his other side. What is uh I wouldn't say persona. I wouldn't say uh, personality. Cause Tyler Crater does you've you've heard his shit on our future. You know how he he fucking raps. And then he came out with what's that album? Yonkers. Not Yonkers, the the Bob Cut. Igor. Igor. And so you know how you know how he's changed it up. He's changed up his his scene a little bit. He's been changing it up. And then he comes out with this fucking song. And you're like, oh, okay. Obviously, he's well-versed. What we were talking about. That's what we were talking about all day. Being well-versed in what you can fucking do so that nobody gets you stuck in a place. Oh, Mr. Cowboy guitar singer only plays country music. And you know how he's, you know what he plays because of that. Because he plays country music. Or you could be a guitar player that plays everything. Get your money. Blow up. Everywhere. Period. Shout out to Tyler Crater and Max O'Cream for that song. It's been a bop of mine. I've been listening to it nonstop. Anywho. When did I start doing this? Who fucking knows? And you know honestly who fucking cares? I'm afraid. This This is some hot ass coffee. Mmm, delicioso. Me gusta. I I like I don't like drinking and I don't like eating very hot things. That's a very hot cup of joe, bud. But it's very good. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you try it, babe. Very good. I made this top notch um but let's go into let's go into calling people yeah let's go into calling people because that's what i like doing the best on this podcast is i like to get people like why is he calling me that's crazy that's weird what so here we go. I'm going to call this homeboy first. He is active. Let's see if he answers. Which would be weird if he didn't answer. Honestly. But, you know, he's probably busy. But he said it said he was on. Unless it was lying to me. Maybe today's the day that nobody answers. I'm not gonna. Nope. He didn't answer. Let's call this guy. Hey, tell me your favorite song. That's all I want to know. And how your day is going. 
That's a good one. That's a good background. I know it's in the middle of the day. I get it, guys. I get it. It's in the middle of the day. But it's not that long. It's not long at all. Jesus Christ. Two people that I thought were going to answer didn't answer. Somebody is bound to fucking answer. Maybe it's just not the day to do so. Nope. She actually hung up on me, I think. <laughs> she actually hung up on my ass. She was like, nope. She even texted me. We're going to keep on going. We're going to keep on going until I get one fucking person to. Hello. Do you know who this is? Yes. Okay, I say that because you're on podcast. Is it okay if you're on podcast? Oh, dude, I'm at work. Oh, come on. One question. Okay. All right. Because I'm not going to dox you on here, too. But I'm going to ask you one question, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite song? Um... Oh, it's it's by Californication. Oh, by uh, by uh, Red Hot, I think. Yeah, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, for sure. It's it, got to be that one. Is it is uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers your favorite artist, or do you have a favorite artist? Uh, I like Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey, your favorite artist. Californication yeah. is your favorite song. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom. That's great. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on a uh, on a playlist on you on YouTube whenever I get the chance. I'm calling everybody to to see what their favorite song and artist is. Ah, uh, nice. Um, one last question: Are you happy today? Um, yeah. There you go. We're all fucking happy <laughs> today. All right, all right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for answering okay. the phone. Have a good one, Rex. All right, you Bye. too. Bye. Boom. One person. Let's see if anybody else will answer. Not a lot of people are on. That's another. Let's see what this guy will answer. I feel like these dudes won't won't answer for some reason. They're like, I'm too good to answer the phone. I'm too good to answer people. I'm too good. See? Nothing. Suckers. They're just being suckers. She better fucking answer. Because if she doesn't, she's lying. Hello. Hey, can you talk on the phone right now? Yeah. You're Hi, on. What's up? You're on podcast. 
Oh, <laughs> I love. <laughs> Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Cool. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you can answer them truthfully or not truthfully. I would say honest, <laughs> honestly, answer them as honest as possible. And they're not crazy questions, okay. but I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Okay. First question is, what is your favorite song? Blind Melon, No Rain. Say it again. Blind Melon, No Rain. Blind Melon, No Rain? Yeah. All right. Is, is, so Blind Melon is the band, I guess? Yeah, Blind Melon is the band. I thought, I mean, it's a, it's a, name, it's a famous 90s song. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna put it down on the list uh, because I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a playlist for YouTube on people's favorite songs. Oh, okay, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah. So, Blind Melon, No Rain. Okay. Yep. What is your favorite artist? Is there a favorite artist of yours? Um, like music artist. Uh, yeah. Or or, or uh, yeah. So it's Vino Xavier. Uh, he's the lead singer of Seven Circle Sunrise. So Vino Xavier for Seven Circle Sunrise. Yep, that's who it is. Boom. And why Am do I you? A speaker? Yeah, no, you're on. Um, you're on my headset for my podcast, so people oh. can hear you. Oh God. Okay. Um, why is he your favorite artist? Um, because. They got me through a really difficult time in my life. Uh-huh. And he's an actual person and not like, you know, you know, some pe- famous people, they let the fame go to their head. They're not real people at that point. Right. Vino's, Vino's been pretty humble and down to earth ever since. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I fucking feel that. That's what I, I, I feel. I feel like that with a lot of artists, um, you know, um, Mac Miller, um, uh, what's his name? Um, anyway, I'm going blank because I'm I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting lost in my translation. But uh, the last question I have for you is: Are you happy today? Um. Yeah. Are you lying to me? Yes. <laughs> Well, you don't have to. You don't have to be happy if you don't want to be happy. I'm just asking that question because it's a hard hitting question. Yeah, I think that overall, I'm happy. Yeah. Today. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, gi- I'll give you that one. I'll give you that. <laughs> but all right. Well, I appreciate you answering my call. You're probably you're probably going to be my last caller of today, and okay. uh, I will talk to you later. All right. See you, man. All right. Bye. Bye. There you have it. I'm not going to call any more people because I feel like nobody just, nobody gives a fuck anymore. Nobody says, oh, I had, I had one, uh, a girl say that she was at work and I was like, answer this one question. She said, okay, cool. Answer it. I would, I would, I would get fired to answer your phone call. I would fucking get fired. I would call you right back, to be honest. I would call you right back, to be honest. But, you know, that's just me. Anyway, guys, I feel like we did a really a really great po- fucking podcast until the end. You know, people weren't answering their phones, no big deal. But I feel like the podcast was great. We made some fucking coffee with my new coffee maker. Uh, we talked about... Um, we talked about Kanye and Drake again. Last time, I promised, last time talking about Drake and Kanye. And shout out, shout the fuck out to Curtis Graham. Look him up. Look him up. Tree Life, uh, not Tree Life, Jesus Christ. Tall Mike Entertainment. T-A-L-L-M-I-C-E-N-T. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. He has it all. Curtis Graham. C-U-R-T-I-S-G-R-A-H-A-M. Look his ass up. His music's fire. You heard it here first. This is the, this is me literally saying, you heard that shit here first, dog. Unreleased. He said it was okay. That's a homie. That's love. We growing together. 
You know what I'm saying? We need to do that as a community, as your art community, as your music community, as whatever community that you have, your car community. Grow fucking together, bro. That's how you move. That's how you make shit happen. Like Curtis said, you move silently. Get you a couple people that will that will fucking do this shit for you. And boom. You got yourself a fucking platform. That's it. A hundred percent. So wake your ass up. Let's start moving. You got your coffee. Let's drink that coffee. Let's do ten push ups. Let's fucking go for a jog. Let's go walk your dog. Let's go wash the dishes, wash the the clothes, the dirty clothes that have been in the bathroom for two months. Yeah. Let's read that book. And let's go fucking do some shit today. All right. I will catch y'all on the flip side. My name is Almighty Psy. You can find me on Instagram, Almighty underscore S dot I dot G dot H. You can find me on UndeniableMisfortune.com My albums, my merch What is happening, what's going on You have all of our artists on there Grim D, Cairo the Chosen, LJ All of them motherfuckers are on there Also, you can find the podcast on there If you find the podcast on the website And that's what you'll be watching it on And you haven't seen our YouTube Go to our YouTube at Moshcast with Almighty Psy And you can get this podcast on, on on a song call and you can get the mosh cast for free dog you bored listen to us you got nothing going on listen to us we got enough we got enough to, to to keep you busy for at least at least 24 weeks i just uploaded yesterday we at least have enough for 24 weeks for you to not be bored you have that much and then three weeks of the song call Right. Look us up. Support. Much love. That's it for us, guys. We will talk to you till next week. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. Listen, 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 listen. Let's go.